Newcastle United's Alan St. Maximin becomes the latest attacker to be linked with Chelsea. The long list of potential new Chelsea recruits continues to grow as Newcastle forward Alan St. Maximin becomes to next name thrown into the rumour mill. As Daily Mail reports, the Magpies could be forced into selling the Frenchman to a top team in order to raise funds and offset their spending. The 25-year-old is said to have had his head turned by the higher salaries being offered to him and, with three years at St. James Park under his belt, it makes a transition to another Premier League side even more straightforward. The winger already has the approval of Chelsea legend Frank Lampard when he coined him unplayable after he coached Everton in a 3-1 loss at the hands of Newcastle. The Frenchman accumulated a total of 10 goals and assists in the league last season, which was one more than the departing Romelu Lukaku's tally, and would provide good depth to Thomas Tuchel's attacking ranks. The Blues are in search of a replacement for the Belgian this summer and with players such as Raheem Sterling in the mix, St. Maximin will have a lot of strong competition. Lazio set to open talks with Chelsea to sign left-back Emerson Palmieri. Lazio are set to start negotiations with Chelsea to sign left-back Emerson Palmieri this summer. Since arriving from Roma in 2018, the 27-year-old has failed to make a mark at Stamford Bridge and spent last season on loan at Lyon. With just one year left on his contract, the Blues are keen to sell the Brazilian-born player as they look to freshen up their defensive options. According to Italian outlet Corriere dello Sport, Emerson is a target for Lazio with the Serie A side's manager Maurizio Sarri wanting to reunite with his former player. The report goes on to say that Chelsea value the Italy international at over £12 million and that he may need to take a pay cut to secure a move. Sarri worked with Emerson during his time in charge of the West London club three years ago. In the past two seasons, the fullback has made just 16 appearances for Chelsea having fallen out of favour under Thomas Tuchel. The West Londoners already have enough strength in depth at left back with Ben Chilwell and Marcos Alonso to choose from. Funds raised through selling fringe players like Emerson could help Tuchel to secure reported targets in Sevilla's Jules Kunde and Juventus Mathis de Ligt. However, earlier this year, Emerson indicated that he would be content with returning to Chelsea this summer. He said, I didn't speak just yet. For me personally, it's been a good season, I played a lot of games. Let's see what happens in the future. I have a contract with Chelsea. I've played there for three years and won some things. If I need to go back there I'm happy. Frank LeBerth tells Chelsea to go for Leicester City star Wesley Fofana. Former Chelsea centre-back Frank LeBerth has suggested that Chelsea should look to sign Wesley Fofana. The Leicester City defender has had an impressive start to life in the Premier League. The ex-Blues defender feels the 21-year-old would be an option if the club fails in its pursuit of Jules Kunde. The West London club have been linked with many defenders, but speaking during ESPN FC Extra Time, 54-year-old LeBerf said that Fofana was a fantastic defender and would be a fantastic option for the Blues. I think Kunde is a very good option. If not, Fofana. Fofana from Leicester is an absolutely fantastic defender. That would be a fantastic option as well for Chelsea. I'm not sure Leicester would let him go, but he's a great player. With the Kunde saga dragging on since last summer and with other clubs interested in the French national, his compatriot would be a decent option for Chelsea. Fofana is a decent option for Thomas Tuchel to strengthen the side. Signing at a young age for the Foxes, the youngster took the Premier League by storm and became a star for Leicester. He featured in 28 league games in his debut season at the King Power Stadium. The 21-year-old second season has been affected by a fibula fracture though and he was out for most of last season. Only time will tell whether the young defender will get back to his best and some fans at the Stamford Bridge will hope that it'll be in the blue of Chelsea. The Blues need to go out and sign defenders and Fofana could be an option. Fofana is young, has great potential and has settled well in the Premier League. It really would be a smart call if Chelsea ever end up going after him but there doesn't seem to be anything right now that suggests they will. Liverpool, not interested in signing Christian Pulisic. Liverpool reportedly have no plans to pursue a deal for Chelsea attacker Christian Pulisic this summer. The USA international only made 13 starts for the Blues in the 2021-22 Premier League season and has been tipped ahead for the exit door in the coming weeks. Pulisic's contract at Stamford Bridge is due to expire in the summer of 2024, and the 23-year-old has found it difficult to displace the likes of Mason Mount, Timo Werner and Kai Havertz in the attack. 
Liverpool were rumoured to be keeping a close eye on Pulisic amid their attacking shake-up, as Sadio Mane and Devok Origi have ended their stints with the Merseyside club. However, CBS sports journalist Ben Jacobs claims that Liverpool are currently not interested in a move for Pulisic, who has also been linked with AC Milan and Juventus. Liverpool have already added to their attacking ranks with the signings of Darwin Nunez and Fabio Carvalho, while right-back Calvin Ramsey has also joined from Aberdeen. Jacobs adds that Liverpool could still pursue a deal for another attacking player before the window shuts following Main and Origi's exits, despite previous reports claiming that the Reds will not sign another player this summer. Pulisic banked a total of eight goals and five assists in 38 appearances for Chelsea in all tournaments last season, taking his total for the Blues to 25 goals and 18 assists in 114 outings. Since arriving in a £57.6 million deal three and a half years ago, Pulisic has won the Champions League, Club World Cup and UEFA Super Cup with the London club. Chelsea and Manchester United target Christopher Nkunku extends contract at RB Leipzig. Premier League clubs Chelsea and Manchester United suffer huge blow as French midfielder Christopher Nkunku signs a two-year contract extension at German club RB Leipzig. The 24-year-old gained a lot of attention from countless clubs across Europe after an outstanding spell of form last season with the Frenchman netting 35 goals across all competitions. It is understood that a release clause of £60 million has been written into the contract which becomes active next summer. This leads us to believe that the possibility of Nkunku leaving the German club at a later date is still likely. Speaking about his future with the German club, the current Bundesliga player of the season said, I'm happy to continue wearing the RB Leipzig shirt. After the great success in the DFB Cup, it was clear, my path doesn't end here, we want more. I was really impressed by how the club took care of me. So a big thank you to all those responsible for the trust and especially to RB Leipzig CEO Oliver Mintzlaff, with whom I was always in close contact. RB Leipzig has made a name for itself internationally in recent years and has repeatedly confirmed that we can play for titles. In the future we want to build on this and go one step further. After a breakout season for Nkuku, former club PSG has also stepped up their interest of signing the 24-year-old. Last year the Frenchman's buyout clause was set at around £100 million causing clubs to play the patience game. With Marina Granovskaya and Bruce Buck now gone, Todd Burley is set to make a serious impression as new chairman of Chelsea FC and also on the summer transfer window. Raheem Sterling urged to reject Chelsea transfer by former Manchester City star Trevor Sinclair. Former Manchester City star Trevor Sinclair has warned Raheem Sterling against joining Chelsea this summer as he does not believe Thomas Tuchel's side will compete for the Premier League title next season. Chelsea's new owner Todd Burley wants to make England forward Sterling his first major signing, with the Blues currently in talks with Man City over a deal. Sterling has been a mainstay in City's side over the past seven seasons and has scored more than 100 goals to help the Manchester club win four Premier League titles since his move from Liverpool in 2015. But Sterling's future is in doubt as he enters the final 12 months of his contract, with several European clubs also interested in securing his signature. Chelsea are believed to be at the front of the queue but former England winger Sinclair, who spent four years at Manchester City, does not believe it would be a good move for Sterling. I would say no because I don't think Chelsea will be competitive with Man City and Liverpool next season, he told TalkSport. They've lost players, the club is in a transitional phase where they've lost a lot of players and they've got to do a lot of rebuilding. They've got a new man at the helm, Burley, to do that. I think there's a hell of a lot of work for Chelsea to do this summer. Listen, Raheem is a quality player and a quality operator and Chelsea could compete next season, but the new owner has a big job on his hands. Chelsea were expected to challenge Man City and Liverpool for the title last season but finished way behind their domestic rivals in third. A move to Stamford Bridge may appeal to Sterling as he grew up in London and could be handed a more prominent role by Tuchel than Pep Guardiola. The 27-year-old was on the bench for both legs of the Champions League semi-final defeat to Real Madrid last season and the epic final game against Aston Villa. That is on Chelsea News today. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much. Goodbye and see you by tomorrow news.